Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be discussing the paper 2 topical past papers of the cell structure, which is the topic of AS level biology 9700. Let's start question number 15. Match the description for each of the statements A to E to a correct cell structure. Okay, so uh, part A double membrane bound organelle absent in animal cells that produce ATP right so the double membrane bound organelle that is absent in animal cells is a chloroplast right because there are only three double membrane bound organelles in the cells and these are the nucleus the mitochondria and the chloroplasts nucleus and mitochondria they are present in the animal cell whereas the chloroplasts are absent so the only double membrane bound organelle that is absent in the animal cells is a chloroplast and most of the students don't know that chloroplast also produces ATP so the answer is chloroplast part B partially permeable membrane surrounding the large permanent vacuole of the plant cell so the partially permeable membrane that surrounds the large permanent vacuole of the plant cells is known as the tonoplast right option C or part C formed from microtubules during mitosis so spindle fibers are formed from the microtubules during mitosis has peptidoglycan as one of its major components so guys this is bacterial cell wall bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan and the last one is site of the assembly of ATS ribosomes so guys uh, ATS ribosomes are assembled in the nucleolus in eukaryotes so we are done with this uh, question let's move on to question number 14 figure 1.1 is a transmission electron micrograph of part of an animal cell right so this is an electron micrograph of which type transmission electron micrograph which means this is a picture taken from transmission electron microscope Name the structures A, B, and C. So guys, if we look at the A, so A is the nuclear envelope because this structure is the nucleus. So A is the nuclear envelope. And if we talk about B, so B is the mitochondrion. So guys, uh, guys, how do we identify mitochondria? Uh, these have these structures have oval or spherical shapes and you will see lines so if you see a structure an oval or circular structure with lines so these are mitochondria and these lines are actually the Christi inside the mitochondria so B is the mitochondrion okay what about C C is a large vesicle in the cell and this large vesicle is the lysosome okay name one structure visible in figure 1.1 that would also be present in a prokaryotic cell so guys we can see that there is cell surface membrane in this diagram or we can see that cell surface membrane is visible and cell surface membrane is also found in the prokaryotic cell so the answer would be cell surface membrane. Okay. Cells such as that in figure 1.1 can divide by mitosis. Describe the role of centrioles in mitosis. So guys, as we all know that centrioles are microtubule organizing centers. Centrioles are MTOCs or microtubule organizing centers which organize microtubules for the formation of for the formation of spindle fibers for the formation of spindle fibers during prophase of mitosis so guys you should know that mitosis has several phases 
and prophase is one of the phase uh, during which spindle fibers are formed and spindle fibers are formed with the help of microtubules and these microtubules are organized by the centrioles so we are done with this question let's move on to question number 13 macrophages are the types of white blood cells and which type of white blood cells actually guys macrophages are phagocytes so the question says that macrophages synthesize intracellular enzymes which means that intracellular enzymes intracellular enzymes mean that the enzymes found inside the cell so macrophages synthesize intracellular enzymes and obviously uh, these enzymes will be inside the lysosomes figure 2.1 is a summary diagram of events that occur in a macrophage so guys we can see that these are the bacteria which are engulfed by the macrophage which is the phagocyte name the process a so guys uh, what is happening at a bacteria are being engulfed so this process by which bacteria are engulfed is known as phagocytosis name the stages of protein synthesis that occur at enf so guys there are two stages of protein synthesis that are transcription and translation so e is the nucleus right and at e or the nucleus transcription occurs during transcription what happens the gene is copied to form messenger rna or we can say transcription is the process by which messenger rna is formed from a gene and if you talk about f so guys f is rer and rer is the site of translation and what is meant by translation translation is the second step of the protein synthesis and in translation messenger rna goes and binds to the ribosome and the instructions on the messenger rna are translated into the sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide or a protein right so e is the site for transcription and f is the site for translation part three name organelles name organelles b g h and j so what is b yes guys b is the phagocytic vacuole that is formed by the phagocytosis b is phagocytic vacuole so guys this is a vacuole formed by the phagocytosis of bacteria and bacteria are contained within this vacuole so this is phagocytic vacuole we can co also call it phagosome right okay what is g g is the ribosome f is rough endoplasmic reticulum and g is the dot over here so g is the ribosome right and what about h guys h is the golgi apparatus you can see the curved sex or the curved pouches which are forming vesicles right so h is the golgi apparatus okay what about j j is the mitochondrion right describe what happens to the bacteria between c and d so guys we can see that what is happening at c the lysosomes from the golgi apparatus are fusing with the phagocytic vacuole so we have to state the events between c and d and not the event that is occurring at c or the event that is occurring at d we have to state the events between c and d so what happens between c and d is that uh, as the lysosome fuses with the uh, phagocytic vacuole so what happens between C and D, the hydrogen peroxide in the lysosome kills the bacteria. So we will write that hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen peroxide peroxide from the lysosome kills from the lysosome kills bacteria. Right? Then what happens next? We will say that uh, hydrolytic enzymes or hydrolytic enzymes or digestive enzymes 
hydrolytic enzymes or digestive enzymes from the lysosome digests or digest the bacteria and we need to give some examples for example proteases for example proteases break down proteins in bacteria and we can also say uh, and lysozyme so guys lysozyme is an enzyme which breaks down bacterial cell walls and lysozyme breaks down peptidoglycan in bacterial cell walls or we can say it breaks down bacterial cell walls right so uh, to be more precise what is happening is that bacteria are killed and digested we're done with let's move on to question number 12 a student compared an image of a plant cell with an image of an animal cell both images were at the same magnification parts a to c are four correct comparative statements about these images both cells contain large numbers of an organelle bound by a double membrane the inner membrane of these organelles is folded these organelles all have similar structure but do not always appear to have the same shape state the name of the organelles described so guys according to the description the organelles described are the mitochondria because mitochondria are double membrane bound they are found in both animal and plant cells and they have folded inner membrane and although they have the similar structure but their shapes can vary under the electron microscope and why is that so because uh, when we observe the cells under the electron microscope we uh, take different sections so mitochondria uh, appear as uh, different uh, mitochondria appear with different shapes because of the different sectioning or they are cut at cut at different sections so suggest one reason suggest one reason why the organelles described do not always seem to have the same shape that's because they are cut at different sections right part b both cells contain cell structures that are approximately 25 nanometer in diameter and are not bound by a membrane so guys this description states that the organelles are the ribosomes so ribosomes are the structures which are 25 nanometer in diameter and they are not bound by any membrane ribosomes are non-membrane bound organelles part 2 b part 2 draw a circle around the measurement that has the same value as 25 nanometers so guys we have to convert 25 nanometers into micrometers by dividing by 1000 so this will be 0 0.025 micrometers so we will circle 0 0.025 micrometers part c there are strands of cytoplasm passing through the channels in the cell wall of the plant cell these are not visible in the animal cell state the name of the cell structures described so guys uh, the strands of cytoplasm or the thin cytoplasm which runs uh, through the holes or channels in the cell wall is basically the plasmodesma so the structures described over here are plasmodesmata explain one advantage to the plant cell of having these structures so guys what is the advantage of uh, plasmodesmata uh, the, the substances the substances can be transported can be transported from one cell to another without passing through the cell surface membrane and the cell wall right this is the advantage of the plasmodesmata that plasma does matter are simply connections cytoplasmic connections between the two cells and the substances can be transported 
easily from one cell to another without passing through the cytoplasm uh, without passing through the cell surface membrane and the cell wall part d figure 1.1 is a transmission electron micrograph of a part of an epithelial cell from the small intestine of a mammal right name the cell structures labeled x in figure 1.1 and state their function so guys uh, these are the epithelial cells taken from the small intestine so as we all know that uh, the epithelial cells of the small intestine contain microvilli so these are finger like projections of the cell surface membrane so x are basically microvilli and what microvilli do is that they increase the surface area what microvilli do is that they increase the surface area for faster absorption of nutrients, faster absorption of digested nutrients.